Food is the ingredient that brings us together. Hey YouTube family, thank you very much for joining me uh, today. Today's video is going to be a little bit uh, different than what you guys are used to. I usually do the food reviews. Today I wanted to talk about uh, customer service as well as why small businesses fail. So why do small businesses fail? Um, I have five key points uh, that I think causes a small business to fail. Number one lack of business knowledge. So not having any business experience, business operations experience, for example, as well as uh, business education, post-secondary education that will allow you to run a successful business. Number two, lack of business plan. So not having a proper business plan of what you're doing now, what you will do, and how you're going to expand and operate, how you're going to operate your business and how you're going to expand it in the future as well as lack of inf infrastructure or issues with infrastructure. So for example, not having the proper equipment or not having, having sufficient um, equipment to support your daily operations. Marketing mishaps and at, at sometimes actually not having any marketing budget at all. No social media presence. Um, in today's world, we have to have a website, for example, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Reddit, and all those six social media platforms, we should have an account open so that way our customers could um, do their research before coming to the restaurant. And five, and I think the biggest one, is lack of customer service. What do a business need to succeed? Again, I have five items that in my opinion will help a small business succeed in today's world. Number one, good food item. So having a delicious menu and ensuring that you taste your food items uh, beforehand and prior to putting your menu out to the customers. Number two, having good price point. So for instance, not charging too much for a small portion of food. Um, or at least, for example, it depends on what kind of restaurant you're running, if it's high end, it justifies but you have to look at your customers if that's what you're going towards that's fine but if it's not you would have to balance that number three having a clean restaurant ensuring that anywhere that's visible to your customers is clean and also the back of the house so i think overall everywhere should be clean similar to how we keep our homes clean if it's not customers are most likely not going to return number four having good ambience um, again, cleanliness falls in that as well as your equipment. So for example, the tables and the chairs that they're using, um, are, you know, not broken, it's clean. You have nice lighting, um, and all of those. And I think the biggest one, number five is customer service. So if we have good customer service, it's definitely going to help that business succeed. Uh, now we're going to get into the detail of what good customer service is. What is good customer service? In my opinion, customer is always right. Some of you might disagree with me, but we have to look at it this way. Who pays the rent? Who pays our employees? Who pays for the electrical bill? Who pays for the insurance? It's all the customer. If the customers don't come every single day and buy or whatever we're selling, whether it's food or we're giving a service, we don't have a business. We shut it down and it's closed. So we have to ensure that we keep them happy. It's easy to keep your current customers happy than to retain a new one. So we have to always try to do what we can to keep those customers that are coming through our doors happy so that way they return. The next item is listen to your customers. So for instance, if they're bringing a um, constructive feedback, take that as a positive. Don't, take, don't get defensive, but rather we should take it as something positive and try to work towards it. Because 
if they're pointing that out, most likely there might be something lacking that they're bringing it up. And you should be appreciative uh, of that because most people might not um, say it. And if somebody's bringing it up, we should try to investigate it. And if they have a good point, then we should try to find a solution or implement their idea. And the last item is give them the pickle. What do I mean by give them the pickle? So the story goes that a uh, McDonald's executive received a letter from a customer stating that I usually go to your restaurants and I order extra pickle. Today I went to your restaurant, I asked for extra pickle and the cashier asked me for 10 cents. I'm not gonna pay, I'm never coming to your restaurant um, and that's it. So when he received the letter, he wrote back, he apologized, I think he sent some gift cards and whatnot and you know, we'd love to have you uh, as a customer, please return, give us another chance. And after that, they basically implemented a new training for their employees to ensure that they always help the customer. And that's what they call it, give them the pickle. Um, that if customers asking for something, try to go that extra mile. Now, uh, for example, if they're unhappy with their food item, replace it. You know, if you can't give them something extra, if it worse comes to worse, give them the food and give them the refund. You know, you might lose that day. You might be short, for example, $10, $15 that day, but next day they're going to return with their family or friends um, or even themselves. And they're going to maybe spend the same amount, if not more. So try not to lose that customer, but rather go that extra mile to keep them happy. So in my opinion, these are some of the things that will definitely help um, you maintain your customers, run a good uh, restaurant or business. Um, if you guys like it, give it a thumbs up. If you think somebody needs it, share it with them. If you like the topics like this, leave it in the comment section below and hopefully we can uh, cover that in the next video. Thank you very much guys and see you soon.